How do you handle your to-do list? Do you write tasks on scraps of paper or in a notebook? Or perhaps you've got a digital application like Todoist. Well, if you're a Microsoft 365 user, you already pay for a task management system and it's called Microsoft To Do. And you're gonna learn all about Microsoft To Do in today's video. But before we start, I'm Jonathan Edwards, helping businesses with their Microsoft 365 and their cybersecurity. Why don't you check out 365gearsystem.com? Now, we've all got busy lives. There's so many things that we want to get done. And we've got so many different areas of our life to achieve different things. Without a proper task management system, we can quickly get overwhelmed. Trying to remember everything inside of your mind just creates overwhelm. As I often say to my wife, your brain is not a storage area for tasks that you need to do. If you sit down and empty your mind and get all your tasks into a task management system, you're immediately gonna feel much better. Now the old way of managing tasks just doesn't work anymore. Having post-it notes scattered everywhere or having a notebook that you write lists of tasks to do. What if you don't have that notebook with you? What if you lose that important post-it note? The task is gone. Or maybe you are one step ahead of us. Maybe you already use an online task management system, something like Todoist. But if you're a Microsoft 365 user, you have a really good task management system included in your Microsoft 365 plan. And it's called Microsoft To Do. And the great thing is, it integrates perfectly with all your Microsoft applications. So without further ado, we're gonna hop onto that computer behind me and I'm gonna give you a little tutorial on how to use Microsoft To Do. So the first question is, how do you get hold of Microsoft To Do? Well, there's a few options. The first option is you can use Microsoft To Do over the web. So to do that, you simply browse the Microsoft 365 login page and you'll log in using your username and your password. And then you might see something like this. You then click on the app launcher, which is these little dots in the top left hand corner. And you can see that we've got to do here. So we'll simply click on that and to do opens within the web. Now, this is okay, it's not my preferred way of using Todo. I prefer to install Todo on my computer. So how do I do that? I'll just close that, and I'll minimize this screen here. I want to go into the Microsoft Store. So I'll click on, I'll type in Store, and you can see Microsoft Store has appeared. So I'll launch that, and then I'll simply search for Microsoft Todo, and hopefully it will find it. Here it is. So all we would do is simply click on get and then Microsoft To Do would install on the computer. Now I've got To Do installed on the computer already. You can see it's this little tick down here. So I will click on that to launch To Do. Now it might be worth mentioning you can also install To Do as an app on your iPad, your iPhone. It also works on Apple Mac computers and it works on Android. So no matter what device you have, you should be able to enjoy Microsoft To Do. So when you first open to do, you see the My Day page. Now the My Day page are the tasks that you need to complete today. So all your focus should be on the My Day page. Don't worry too much about the tasks that you've got to complete tomorrow or next week. Worry about the tasks that you've got to complete today. And this gives you real focus. Now I'm just going to take you through a few of the back end options before we get into the tasks. You can see here we've got lots of different menus. We've got My Day, which I've just explained. We've got Important. Now, these are tasks that we have put a star next to because they're really important. We've got Planned. Now, these are tasks that we've added to to-do where they've got a date that we need to do them. So if I've got to pick the kids up from school on Thursday, that is planned for Thursday. Whereas a task without any date on it wouldn't go into Planned. We've also got Completed. Now, these are all the tasks that we've completed. This is nice just to look at sometimes when you want to feel a sense of accomplishment. These are all the tasks that I've completed. We've also got Assigned to Me. Now, Microsoft To Do links with another Microsoft 365 productivity app called Planner. Now, I'll make some videos on Planner in a few weeks. But if you've got any tasks assigned to you from Planner, they would appear in here. 
We've also got something called flagged email. So Microsoft to do integrates with Outlook and I'll show you how that works. And then we've just got a place to put all our tasks. Okay, so we'll review those in a moment. Let's just go into the back end here by clicking on my face and going into the settings. Now, some of these settings, they're all quite self-explanatory. So we've got some general settings. When we add a new task, do we want that task to go to the top? or the bottom of the list. What about if we've starred task to make it important? Does that go to the top? Play a completion sound. I quite like that. I quite like it when you finish a task, you complete it and you get a little bell to say you've completed it. But that is completely up to you. And we've also got a few more options. As I said, these are quite self-explanatory. The next thing to look at is the theme. So I don't know about you, but I always prefer dark themes on things. I don't like the brightness of the, the light themes. You can see here by my desktop, it's all quite dark. Now you can have the light theme. So this, this is using my Windows theme, which is dark. If I clicked on light theme, wow. I mean, for me, that is just far too bright, but you might prefer it that way. I don't. So I'll, I'll go back to my dark theme. And you can see these smart lists. So these are just the options that I showed you here. These are available to turn on and off. So you might think, I don't want to see completed. And I don't want to see assigned to me. So I can just switch them off. And you can see here that those have disappeared. So you can pretty much configure to do how you want to, which leads me back into my day. You can see here, I've got this picture here. You might like it, you might not like it. What I can do, I can simply choose a different picture from the options, whichever one you like. We can also choose a solid color. So if I clicked on there, you might think, well, that's not gone gray. That's because I'm using a dark theme. The text has actually gone gray. If I went back into settings and put the light theme on and go back, you can see that that gray is there, but it doesn't work so well on the dark themes. So I'll just go and switch that back off, go to Windows theme. And go back here and we'll just have um we'll just have a picture it doesn't matter what we have so that is my day so we can change the picture at the background now of course a task management system is all about tasks so if i go onto my task list here the first thing i would recommend if you are new to task management systems is to sit down for perhaps an hour and just empty your mind you don't want all these tasks racing around in your head you want to get them all out so spend an hour doing that and i've spent a few minutes doing it here these are all made up tasks but i hope you get the idea so what you'll end up with is a long list you'll end up with much more tasks than i've got here and what you'll also notice and these tasks relate to different areas of my life. There's no rhyme or reason to them. There's family things and there's work things, and that's okay. I'll just go through a few of the bits now. So we've got a task here called Chase Outstanding Invoices. You can see we can click on that task and we can go into it, and we've got some more options there. So I can add it to my day. So that task will add into my day. If I click on there, you can see that that has now gone into my day. So it's a good way to go through your tasks and work out what you're gonna be doing on that particular day. I'll just take it out of my day. You'll also notice we can add different steps. So I've got a, a report here to write for Sam. So on that, I've added some steps. So I've got a report that I need to write for Sam. It's a bit vague. So what I can do is just write a few subtasks. These are called steps in Microsoft To Do. I can write lots of subtasks to support my main task. So again, it's just getting really clear on what you need to do so you don't forget anything. We can also click on the star. So if we click on there, that task is important and that will go into our important list if we want it to. Okay, so I'll leave that in there. And you'll notice that that task has now gone to the top of the queue. So that was a setting in the general settings. We can also add reminders. We can add due dates as well. So if I want to say, well, actually, this report is due for Friday. So let's get that due date on Friday. We can repeat tasks. So if I've got a task like publish YouTube video, I like to publish YouTube videos every Friday. So I can click on repeat and I can customize that. 
I want to do it every week. So it's every one week on a Friday. And I just deselect Tuesday there and click on save. Now you can see this little tab here. That means every Friday that will repeat as a task. So even when I complete that, because I'll publish one this Friday, it will create the task again next week. Again, it's getting it out of your mind. You don't have to think about that task anymore. You can also attach files. Again, if there's anything you need to back up, some knowledge or anything, you can add a file to there. And you can also add a note. Really important task. So this is just for an example. And you can add a note to that. And again, you get a little note at the side of there. Okay, so just close that. So how do we add tasks? Well, simply you go down to the bottom here and you can see it simply says add a task. We can click in there. So I need to take the, the dog to the vet on Friday. So take Roly to vet. Now I could leave it like that or I can got some options here. Look, so I can set a due date there. I can set a reminder or I can repeat the task all from within there. But I know I need to take Roly to the vet on Friday. So I can just leave it as that or this is where to do is quite clever. I can simply put on Friday, okay? And what it's done, it's intelligent enough to have put the date. So all I've put is take Roller to the vet on Friday and it's come up and it's entered the date in there without me doing anything. I think that's really clever. And again, it just saves time. So they're the basics of tasks. You can see there's a lot of options there. Now, the one thing you might have noticed is when you empty your head, when you've got all your tasks there, it's gonna become a little bit of a mess. You're gonna have tasks from home, you're gonna have tasks from work, you're gonna have lots of different tasks for each area of your life. And you might look at it in the end and just feel more overwhelmed. I've got all these things to do. So how can we use Microsoft to do to just unburden ourselves a little more and get more organized? Well, there's something called lists. So I like to take the task thing here is like a, an inbox for tasks. As soon as a new task comes to me, I'll put it in the inbox. But then every day I will sort through this task list and I will give everything a home. So what is a list? Well, I could create a list called marketing, okay? So all tasks within here that are marketing, I can just simply drag. So I've got a LinkedIn one there. I'll drag that into there marketing yeah i'll drag that one into there and then i've got some home tasks in here as well haven't i so i'll create one called home oh, go on to tasks again so taking roll to the vet is, is a, a home task uh we've got to tidy the garage as well we've got to collect the kids from school we've got to apply for passports in fact that might be a new list called summer holiday you know, let's give everything a, a clear defined home. So research summer holidays, do that. We've got to buy some milk and you can see it starts to take shape. We've got a home for everything using lists. Um, we might have some other things like office admin, just for example, and I'll just drag all these into here. Arrange sales meeting, chase the invoices. So I've gone through my task list and everything has a home. Now we can do something else to get more organized. So I've got all these lists here and you might end up with lots of different lists. So what I can do is reduce this further by using something called groups. So what are groups? Well, you click on this little icon here and we'll create a new group and we'll call this group work. So a group is just a bunch of lists. So marketing is very much work. So I'll just drag that into here. You can see that appears under there now. Office admin is very much work, so I'll put that there. I'll create a new group called, let's call it personal. So I'll right click on there, rename it personal. And obviously home is personal, so I'll put that into there. And summer holiday is also personal. And there. Now I've got some nice groups. So I can just simply, I might be at home on a Sunday. I might think, right, what can I do today? I can slip into personal, look at home and just think, okay, I'll go and buy some milk from the shop and I can just get those tasks done as quickly as I can. Now, as I mentioned earlier, to do nicely integrates with Outlook with this flagged email. Now to switch this on and off, again, we go into the settings and we just simply scroll down and you can see there's some connected apps here. Flagged email is switched on.
So what does flag the email do? Well, you don't want tasks in your Outlook that aren't in your to-do. You don't want to think, right, I'll keep that email there because it's a reminder to do it later because you're working out of two different systems. So what you can do, so this is my Outlook. Just create a little folder. There's an invoice here called pro forma invoice. I need to pay this supplier invoice at some point this week. I'm not gonna do it today, but I don't want to forget it either. So I simply click to follow up. Now I can choose to follow up today, tomorrow, this week, next week, or I can put a custom time on it. So I'm gonna say, let, let's follow up on Friday. When I'm doing my home admin, I will pay this invoice. I add that flag to it, and you can see that has gone a different color, and there's a little flag there next to it. I then go back to my to-do. It's gonna sync, so I'll click on there and sync. Oh, it's gone in there now. So in flagged email, you can see pro forma invoice. Now this is really handy. I've got everything that I need here. I can open it in Outlook and it's given me a due date of Friday. So it's added that onto it as well, just by me flagging it up. Now I can, I can put this in work if I want. So I've got an office admin. I think, right, I'll just put this in office admin and I'll move that into there. I think that's a really great feature. It means that Microsoft To Do becomes your central place for all of your tasks and you're not working out of Outlook. How many of you use your Outlook inbox as like a to-do list? You just don't need to do it anymore because you can sync the, synchronize the tasks over to Microsoft To Do. So by now you might have all your tasks in Microsoft To Do. You might have created lists and dragged all the tasks into the right list. You might have created groups and added all your lists into that group. You're all set, kind of. You need to now plan your day. I think it's really important, and this is what I do, at the end of every day, I will spend 10, 15 minutes planning the next day. It's one of the number one productivity tips that I can give you plan tomorrow today. So I will sit down and I will open my Microsoft to do and I will look at what tasks I want to accomplish tomorrow. So I could simply look through everything, right, tomorrow I want to add to my day, so I'll put that on there. We'll chase these invoices, I'll put that on there and we'll write a post for LinkedIn. I'll put that on there. So tomorrow when I turn up for work, I can think, here's my day, this is what I need to do. Just a bit of advice here, don't put too many tasks in. Don't overwhelm yourself. There's nothing worse than at the end of a, a day, you look at your task list and you think, I've got 20 things I needed to complete today and I've completed five of them. You'll just feel like a bit of a failure. So what I aim to do is I aim to complete three important tasks every day. And those tasks have been designed to move me forward with my goals. So these are just, these tasks here are just example ones. I would have three tasks that move my goals forward. And so at the end of every day, I can see I'm making progress to achieving my goals. So that is Microsoft To Do. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. As you can see, Microsoft To Do is a really powerful task management system and you're probably already paying for it if you're using Microsoft 365. I look forward to seeing you again soon.